Hi and welcome to this new video. Today I want to talk a little bit about these store e-ink displays. Some of you may already saw an earlier video of uh, them I made about these kind of displays which are also um, store price tags and I got them on eBay quite cheap uh, connected an Arduino to it and made them work able. That time I used the library GXEPG and it was quite simple to get them to work. It was just connecting it and they were co already compatible to it. And this time I got a few more of these displays which in a nice user or a viewer of my channel sent to me. Greetings to Patrick. And yeah, he asked me to make them also compatible and yeah, get them to work with the Arduino environment. And I want to show a little bit how I got them to work in the end. So yeah, I hope you find it interesting. By the way, this video was sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is an online PCB service where you can get cheap and good quality PCBs just like these ones, which I showed in an earlier video. The quality is very nice and you can just upload your Gerbil files to the site and you can directly select your um, specifics you want to have for that PCB and then you can, yeah, all of them. So here is roundabout how the journey did go on. So first of all he sent me three different displays for once a 4.2 inch, a 2.9 inch and a 1.54 inch display version and a few of them. I first just simply um, yeah, of course, uh, took them apart and a few of them already were apart and I simply changed over the dis displays onto the different PCBs to see how they will behave in that situation. If they still work and just show something different or how it all overall looked. And it turned out that all the different displays get generally um, controlled the same, just with a different resolution. So every display is showing what it should do on the screen. If I, for example, here plug out or plug in the battery to make it working, you see that the display is uh, getting initialized. And you can also see that there are red particles in there. So these displays are all red, black and white. And I could or I was able to test it pretty easy just by changing them and then reconnecting the battery and see what is happening on the e-ink display itself. After that I made one PCB onto this bigger PCB and just simply hooked into all the data lines that are connected between the microcontroller and the display itself and use this logic analyzer to simply see what SPI messages are get sent to the display because I first simply checked if the connection of the display itself is the same as on these older ones I got and internally they are quite the same as you can see on this one this is an old display here this is also yeah an older version of it and the microcontroller on it is still the same on the newer displays Patrick sent me so then I um, did as the next part connect a new display to the yeah, existing PCB to have an environment where I know that the connections are correct 
and I am not yeah, relying on my solder joints on the new PCB. Then I yeah, pressed or looked what SBI commands were sended with this uh, logic analyzer and yeah, just resend them in the Arduino environment and looked what happened if I changed something and so on. So I did the same thing with this 4.2 inch display, but this time I did only connect the data and the clock pin because they are yeah, on some solder pads. Every other pin we need is not connected to the outside. This is just for power connection. That way I could simply see what is different between the smaller displays and the bigger displays and make it compatible in between each other. In the end I got quite far because all the different displays are now working and I made a github repo copy of the GX EPD library where you can simply get the code and run it on your own displays if you may got these somewhere. Here is now an ESP32 connected to the PCB and the 2.9 inch display and it tries to show something on the screen but it is made for another display but you can already see kind of if the light wouldn't be so yeah, blinding what is happening on it so it gets initialized and it will try to put something or some pixels on the screen but as the row and height alignment isn't correct it does not show it in the perfect resolution. So I will connect a different display to it. I can't remember right now which code is on the um, ESP. I think it's for the 4.2 inch display. As now also nothing is shown on the screen. Oh, nothing correct. So I will also disconnect it and we'll now connect the 4.2 inch version. Yeah, so this should show more. I will just simply restart the ESP again and you should see something flicker on the screen. Yeah, now it starts. The whole drawing takes around 15 seconds because it also draws the red part every time. And here you can yeah, see it very nice how it gets yeah, from black to red. And then it will yeah, reprint here the milliseconds of the Arduino. But that's just some example code I wrote to see if it works like it should. That's it already about the e-ink journey and how I got them to work. It is not very much detailed but I think you still can see a bit how I yeah go go on with it and yeah if, if you have any questions please ask it in the comments and I am yeah open to a new or different parts I can reverse engineer so please yeah, message me if you got something. I wish you a great day.